everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing an unboxing um, of Hermes' new makeup items. So we have a blush and one of the lip enhancers. Uh, the blush, I currently have, I got the shade Rose View Bay. So right here, you can see it. Um, as for the lip enhancer, I have the shade Rose Tan. Got the shade rose tan right here. This is uh, one of the new lines of lip products that Hermes offers. Um, is currently priced at sixty seven dollars, uh, which is quite steep. Um, and it comes in three different shades. And so I will just open it. A signature Hermes orange um, packaging. So if I open it, similar to the lipstick, similar to the lipstick, this comes in a little canvas sleeve, and when you pop it open, you get to see um, the lipstick. So it has three different materials, I believe, or diff three different textures. There's the plastic on the top, there's the metal on the bottom, and then I think, um, I think this is also plastic. But essentially, uh, and then there's the Hermes seal on the top of the lid. All of Hermes's cosmetic line has this white, gold, and different um, highlights of pink on the end. I think the limited editions have different colors, variations of it. Um, but this entire design was designed by Pierre Hardy, who is a famous luxury uh, footwear designer for both men and women. And I believe from 1990 to 1999, um, Pierre Hardy design men and women footwear for Hermes. Um, he is also the one who designed um, the very popular Oran sandals. Uh, Hermes owns Pierre Hardy as a brand. Um, I think in 2016 um, it was said that Pierre Hardy sold majority of the sticks to Hermes. So, so this lipstick, if I open it, it kind of has a magnetic um, clasp on both ends of it. So if I just put it down, it just slice. So I think one thing I do appreciate is that the lid will never come undone. So the first item, so if I open it all the way, you get to see this soft velvety um, design. Let me have it focused. Um, you get to see that Hermes has been printed onto um, the lipstick itself. And it has a slight angle. I think all the lipsticks have more of a pointed uh, design compared to this. And I'll just do a quick swatch here on my wrist. Oh, you can barely see it, but I, I think it's buildable. As I'm building it up, you get to kind of see more of that shade. Um, and I'll do a comparison of my other lipsticks that's similar to this. So I brought out five different brands um, to do a quick swatch. So I would say this Kiehl's um, Simply Rose shade, I think might be very similar to it. Um, it's a lot more red, but it's a lot more pink, but the texture is different. This one is smooth. It feels like a lipstick, whereas this kind of feels more of a balm and it's a bit more glossy. Um, I have my Pat Pat McGrath Air Color Balm in Suxy. It's one of my favorite um, tinted lips lip balms. It's one of my favorite um, lip balms um, with the shade um, that I've been using. So this one has more of a corally effect um, versus uh, the Hermes one. It's very soft. It's very pink. Um, so I'm going to try this Charlotte Tilbury Angel Alessandra. So I'm going to put it on the top. So sorry. this is more like a lipstick shade. I put this in because I felt like it was very hydrating as a lip product. So it just felt like it was relevant. Um, I also have this Dior Lip Glow in the pink shade. Um, this one doesn't show anything, but I feel like of everything I've put on, I don't think I have one that really replicates the consistency of the lip enhancer. So I have this MAC 
um, Stay Curious Powder Kiss. I feel like this shade might be very different as well. But so far color wise, I would say this Dior pink one is uh, the most similar in terms of how it looks in comparison. But this is just so velvety and beautiful. I haven't used it on my lips just yet, but I'm so excited to try it out. It is this Hermes blush. This is in um, Rose Bay, and I believe this comes in eight different shades. Um, the description highlights that it's a semi-matte finish, and it's supposed to be a silky blush powder. Um, and it currently retails for 77 US dollars. The refill is $48 and it's available in all the different shades. If you don't really care about the packaging and use more of a Z palette or make your own palette, I think um, the refill might make more sense. Uh, so, on with the un unboxing. So for this, similar um, initial packaging, then it has the Hermes Orange. Um, has like the same mechanism as like the lipstick box however the lipstick box seems a bit more structured and this one seems very flimsy it's just like a single cardboard this one I think they just use a thicker cardboard around it a heavier ply paper um, in the box you have to see this compact beautiful white top metal on the bottom and when you do want to refill it, you just plop it out using hitting um, the circle there. And let's see, how do I, I think I open it this way. So I go, there is the Hermes symbol here and then a black hinge there. It definitely goes with this very minimal three color um, shade similar to the lipstick. So you have three shades here and three shades here. Now you just open it. When you do open it, there is um, a plastic film around it. There, the blush has a very faint texture around it, and it has Hermes um, imprinted on it. There's also a mirror above, and this shade. I'll do a quick swatch here. So as you can see, it's, let's close it, and when I open and close it, there is a faint fragrance. It's kind of like, kind of has like a rose baby powder scent. It's hard to print, but there, it's scented. It's definitely scented. There isn't a scent. Um, this is the swatch for it. This is in the shade Rose Fay. Um, number 61. My skin tone is medium with pink undertones to it and I felt like this would have a nice natural pop to it and not be too uh, bright. And I'll do two comparison of the two different blush that I'm currently using. So I have a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Matte between the sheets shade, a shade between, uh, shade between the sheets. So I think this is more of like a cream blush and it has more of a cool undertone to it. So it's definitely lighter. And the reason why I didn't go lighter with the Hermes blush is because I felt like it might be too light or it won't be have enough of a contrast. Also because I have a lot of shades that are lighter. So this is the comparison for anyone who has the shade. Um, and I will also do one with the NARS Orgasm, since that's a very popular shade. That'll... So mine's in my Z palette, looking very um, nasty at the moment. You can tell that the palette has been well loved. So if I compare it, it's very pink. Um, so this is definitely darker and different. I don't think I have any other shades that are dark necessarily. I felt like my color pop was the darkest at the time when I purchased it. It was really hard to really see um, what's the right shade for me because 
of COVID. Um, all the essays are just sampling uh, shades on a piece of white paper, so it's really hard to tell. Uh, I feel like um, if I put a little bit, it goes a long way, so definitely excited about this shade. Um, and I feel like the middle shade, you can barely see it on my skin tone, so, um, so I'm excited to try these both. I opted for the shade because I felt like it was a shade I didn't have in my collection, um, and I knew that I wanted something that was a bit orange. I know it's very pink, but having more of the orange undertones to it um, and having a bit of a pop. So I, th I thought it would be a fun summer shade that I felt like this shade um, kind of works for my skin tone. Um, and it's a shade that I don't have in my collection because everything I choose is very light pink. As you can see, um, they're very light. Um, so I felt like this was something different, something um, that has a bit more contrast. I noticed that whenever I do wear my other two shades, like it's very subtle. So I felt like this one, I can build it up to this darker hue. So it kind of really has a bright contrast. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to wear this. I'll definitely do like a, yeah, so I'm definitely excited to wear this and I'll definitely do an update of how it wears over time. And if I would recommend it, um, at the time, I generally just wear makeup during the day during my video conferencing calls. So I think I would have to pay, play around with how much I put on just so it like has enough contrast. So definitely excited to try this out. Um, and that kind of concludes my review for today. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. Um, and thank you for watching.